Alright, let's see how good you are at remembering details. Take a close look at the images. After 7 seconds, one element will be gone. Your task is to name it. You get one point for each correct answer. Let's start with an easy one to warm up your brain. Just a peaceful alpine landscape interrupted by a speed train. Okay, I hope you had enough time to remember it in detail. What is missing now? The bottom of the girl's staff is gone, so I guess it's useless now. Moving on. Two noble knights are trying to win over the princess's heart. I don't know who's going to win, but I'm sure something is missing in this image. Oh no, the princess has lost her beautiful tiara. Next. Looks like a typical day at some startup's office. Sure they wouldn't mind some changes. And there you go! One of the plants is missing. Now they can just use it as another coffee mug. How about this one? This bus must be headed to that startup's office from the previous picture. Now, what's the difference between the two images? One of the girls is missing glasses. Did you notice it? These guys must be having a heck of a time. What if we change something here? Voila! What's missing? Mmm, it's a tricky one. Looks like some of the ports on the back of the TV set are now missing. I wonder if they can still play their games without those. Uh, I'm feeling hungry. Time to go grocery shopping. So many things to choose from. And now one of them is gone. I know, I know. A milk carton on the top shelf went missing. Must have landed in someone's shopping cart. Three friends went on a safari. They saw some rhinos, hippos, and whatnot. And then, in the blink of an eye, something was different about that African landscape. Do you see it? One of the guys has lost his travel mat. A hippo will definitely take good care of it. Something's always going on at the airport. One second, and it's all different. The guy in the back should have kept an eye on his belongings. His briefcase is gone. Buying flowers for someone you love is always a good idea. This little shop has an impressive choice, but that might be about to change. Whoa! I was looking at the flowers, but the missing detail here is one of the bricks. Surprise, surprise! That's one happy girl. Looks like she just finished decorating her apartment. It looks perfect. Except one detail is missing now. Hmm. It's the middle line on one of the vases. That moment you arrive at college on your classy new motorbike, nothing can possibly go wrong. Well, it did as one item is missing in this image. Can you tell what it is? It's the clock! A good excuse for being late to class. All aboard the pirate ship! The oceans are awaiting! Aye, but first, let's find one detail that's missing here. Arr, that was a tricky one. Jolly Roger is definitely missing here, and a pirate is not a pirate without it. 
The hat is called a tricorn, by the way. <laughs> Let's move from a pirate ship back to big city life. The passengers are all going somewhere, and who knows what's going to happen the next moment. Can you tell what's different now? Found it! The girl's backpack is missing a handle. That's one lucky guy! Looks like he got the golden ticket! Oops, and now something is missing here. Hope it's not the lucky golden ticket! It's the minute hand on that wall clock in the back. Did you spot it? I'm getting hungry. Again! Hope this guy can help me out with some pasta or whatever he's cooking out there. Except, something is off here now. I hope it doesn't slow down the cooking process. Yep, one of the tomatoes is missing. Gotta find it and put it back. Now, let's spice things up a bit. You'll be looking for two missing details in every image, not one. Someone has a car to fix at this auto repair shop. Try to remember every detail. It's the little things that matter. And now, can you find two details that are missing? It's the red cap on the canister and one of the crosses on the chalkboard. Moving on to the next image. Just a typical classroom, where not every student is equally excited about what's going on. Now, what's missing here? The guy in the red hoodie won't write much without a pencil. And the girl in the back has a new hairstyle now. Her ponytail is gone. Everybody has their idea of a perfect morning. See that guy sleeping right on the lawn? Eh, that would be me. But everything is about to change here. And voila! Two things are missing. Can you name them? One of the balls is now missing, as well as that tower on top of one of the skyscrapers. Ready for the next one? Looks like this guy has just inherited a good amount of money. But what is this mess all about? Anyway, your task is to find the two missing pieces of this puzzle. The bottle that used to be right here on the bookshelf is gone. And one of the spots on the window followed it. It looks better now. Time for another one! This couple must be headed home for the weekend while their less fortunate colleague has to stay in the office. They're waving goodbye to him and two details that were in the picture. One of the notes is gone. And the lucky guy just lost some blush off of his cheek. Did you notice that? This guy sure has a lot of books to read. Three, two, one, and something is gone. I knew it! It was the book right here and this whole pile on the top shelf. This image seems peaceful and simple, but just wait. Are you sure something has changed? It looks exactly the same to me. Oh, right! I can see that the horse is missing its plow, and the tree has lost most of its leaves. I gotta admit, things are getting trickier and trickier. Your new task is to find three missing objects. Looks like these guys can't decide who has to clean up today. Let's see if moving things around a bit can help them. So... The note on the fridge is missing, the bucket no longer casts a shadow, and the dishwashing liquid is gone. 
These ladies seem so sweet. Can you help them find three missing elements in their portrait? Well, you can't pour any water out of this watering can. And one of the ladies has lost two elements of her adorable smile. The mountains are calling, and I must go. But before I join this guy, you gotta name the three things missing in this new image. There are no more knots on the backpack, and the guy has lost his bangs. And look at that mountaintop, it's completely different now. I can't tell if they're playing some game or trying to catch a bat in their backyard. Anyway, the task remains the same for you. Only the most attentive of you must have noticed the glass is now empty. One door is missing a handle, and the plant right here is missing one of its leaves. Want to go horse riding? Oh no, things are all messed up now. Can you bring them back to normal? The horse is missing a part of its bridle. One of the apples must have fallen off the tree. And that tiny window in the back is gone. Congrats! You've reached the champion's level! You'll see images moving on the screen. Your task will be to name one detail that's off. Let's start with an easy one. It seems perfectly normal, but there must be something wrong here. Ah, there's no river on the other side of the bridge. Next, please. Hmm, I know. The wind can't be blowing in different directions. What about this one? So many details to consider. I hope you notice what's wrong here. The traffic light has no red. Must be pretty chaotic out there. And another one for you to figure out. This street doesn't look nearly as busy as the previous one. This one seems just fine to me. Can you tell what's not okay in this image? There can't be two suns in the sky. So, if you got over 20 points, you have an incredibly sharp eye. You could start a career as a detective, unless you already have one. If you've got 10 to 20 points, your visual memory is better than that of most people. You're attentive to details, and it helps you a lot. If you got less than 10 points, you tend to see the big picture rather than the little things. If it worries you, try solving more visual riddles. Here's an easy one for starters. You have 5 seconds to see who's hiding behind those lines. It's an owl. What about this one? Squint, please. Did you manage to spot the tiger? Time for the next illusion. If you're getting tired of squinting, try shaking your head. Shaking the head worked for me. It's a big, mighty bear. Can you figure out this one? It's a beautiful sea turtle. Sure you managed to spot it. Who's hiding in this one? I knew it! It's a frog! Here comes the next one. Try moving the image back and forth if you don't feel like shaking your head anymore.
It worked. It's definitely a giraffe. Another one for you. There's plenty of fish in the sea, and just one in this image. Things are getting trickier and trickier. Can you handle this one? It's a zebra. Next, please. You can try another strategy for this one. Just zoom out of the image. This cat sure has some style. You can try your successful strategy on the next image. Did it work for you? If so, you definitely guessed it's a squirrel. Let's take it one level up and see if you can name all the hidden numbers. Here we go. It's 649. Did you get it right? Next illusion, please. The number hidden here is 903. I'm sure you managed to decipher it. Moving on. Do you remember the zooming out trick? Just saying. Now you can easily tell it's 006. What about this one? Did you guess it's 488? And another one. It's 226. Bingo! And now, the king of them all. A four-digit number to rock your mind. Only 5% of people can tell it's 1240. Here's a new test for your eyes. Can you find who's hiding here? This time, you don't have to squint. It's a bird hiding in the snow. That was just a warm-up. What about this one? It's right there, a beautiful green parrot hiding in the jungle. Do you think you can play detective again and find the hidden creature in this one? It's a cute little pika. It lives in the mountains of Asia and North America. This one just looks like a sea of green to me. Maybe you can figure it out. Voila! There's a crocodile successfully blending with all the greenery. Okay, the next one is definitely some empty landscape. Or is it? It's a cheetah, and it could be gone in a second. It's the fastest land animal in the world after all. It's getting trickier and trickier. Is someone hiding here as well? Did you find this little nighthawk? This bird is known for its bat-like flying technique. All right, who's next? It's a bunch of toads camouflaged in bright fall leaves. Time for a coffee break. Would you like a cup? You can have it as long as you don't mind the cute ladybugs hiding in between these coffee beans. Next, please. Do you see anybody here? Careful, a leopard is too close. It's the most secretive of the big cats, so you never know what's on its mind. 
Another tricky one for you. Perhaps squinting can help. Yay! Found it! It's a ground squirrel sitting on the rocks. Ready for the next one? I'd give it a close look. It's a whole family of monkeys keeping each other warm in the winter. Look at these beautiful butterflies. Can you name all of their colors? It's simple. They're all exactly the same shade of beige. The bright multicolored stripes make your brain believe the butterflies are all different. Here's another colorful optical illusion. Stare at the white dot in the middle of this color palette. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now keep staring at the white dot. Do you see faded colors around it? And now, take your eyes off the dot. The stripes are actually white and gray. Your brain and eyes are playing a trick on you here. Here's a fun one for you. Stare at the bird while I'm counting to one. The second I say one, quickly move your eyes to the ceiling and blink several times. You won't believe what you see. Let's try it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now blink. Do you see the same bird or is it of a different color? Either way, it has to be there. How many animals do you see here? And the correct answer is one. Just kidding, that would be too easy. If you look closely, you'll see a dog, a snake, an elephant, a chameleon, an otter, and a seagull here. So there are six of them, not just one. Moving on, give this optical illusion a close look. What do you see? If it looks like a lake and a mountain landscape to you, you're a realistic person who likes setting goals and reaching them step by step. If you saw the double meaning here and knew it was the head of a dog, you're really creative and often choose your fantasy world over the real one. How about this one? If you see two cats in love in this one, you're a sentimental and romantic person who always sees the good in others. You make new friends easily. If you see the upside down wild cat, you're an ambitious person and a natural leader. You have the energy and drive that makes others listen to you and trust in you. What catches your eye here? If you saw the elephants first, you must be a logical person who seeks a reasonable explanation for everything. You like to follow a plan and don't like surprises. If it's swans to you, you must be more spontaneous and adventurous. You enjoy trying new things and taking risks, big and small. This one seems pretty obvious, but it's just an illusion, remember? If you see one tiger head in this one, looks like you're a super friendly and easygoing person. You feel more comfortable in the company of others than alone. If you instantly saw three tigers here, you feel good surrounded by others but are most productive by yourself. You never feel bored when you stay alone as you always have various scenarios playing in your head. Hey, what if I show you some logos and you'll have to guess which one is the correct one? Let's start with Tesla. Which one do you choose? Yes, it's the one on the right. BMW. What's your choice? Again, the one on the right. Our next one is Subaru. What do you think? It's the one on the left. Do you like online shopping? What's the correct eBay logo? 
It's red, blue, yellow, and green. So, the one on the right. And now, Coca-Cola. What do you say? The left one, of course. Subway. White and yellow or yellow and white. White and yellow. The one on the left. Are you a Redditor? Not that it matters. I just need your vote. And the left one is the correct logo. Abigail wanted to give her mom the best birthday present ever, but she had zero ideas. So she decided to sneak into her mom's computer and check what she had saved in her online shopping cart. When her mom left for work, Abigail sneaked into her office and turned on the computer. It required a password, but the girl didn't know it. Luckily, there was a note right next to the computer saying 9669. Abby tried it, but it didn't work. What's the password? The note is just turned upside down. The girl should try 6996. Mrs. Grossman left a jewelry store and found out that she'd forgotten her wallet at the cashier's desk. She returned, but the wallet wasn't there. She called the police. When they arrived, they asked if someone had seen the wallet. Lexi, the cashier, said that she hadn't seen it. Stephen, a customer, said that he had come up to the cashier to ask something, but he hadn't noticed any wallet. Cole, another customer, said that he'd been busy talking on the phone with his wife. It was Stephen. He said there had been no wallet near the cashier's desk, but no one specified where the lady had lost the wallet. The guy knew it because he'd taken it. Esme was having a walk deep in the forest and got lost. After hours of wandering around, she saw the witch's house. The witch was having a party. She turned 300 years old. Esme stuck around for a while to hang out with the witch and her friends. But then the girl asked the witch to show her the way out. She answered that Esme had to help them. They had three chocolate bars and there were five people. Esme had to share these bars in such a way that everyone got the same amount of chocolate. If she succeeded, she'd go home. If not, she'd have to stay until the witch's 400th birthday. How can Esme share the chocolate? She should break each of the bars into five pieces. This way, everyone will get three pieces in total. On the last day of school, one of the students, Oakley, went missing. A detective arrived to investigate the case. There were three suspects. Mrs. Adams, the principal, Mr. Jones, the cleaning man, and Nora, Oakley's classmate. Mrs. Adams said she had a lot of paperwork to finish. She had spent the whole day in her office. Mr. Jones admitted he knew Oakley, but he said that he had nothing to do with this incident. Nora said she stayed at school after classes to do her homework for the next day, but she didn't see Oakley after the classes had finished. Who should the detective arrest? Nora, she said she'd been doing her homework, but it was the last day of school. No more homework. She's hiding something. Now, I'll show you some pictures and you'll have to figure out what's wrong with them. Let's go. Here's the first one. Look, the book's spine is on the wrong side. Okay, the next one. The road sign says that one can only turn right from the right lane, but there's no road there. Okay, I'm giving you a break. This should be easy for you. What's wrong here? Right, the athletes are playing soccer with a baseball. You gotta be very attentive. Here's a picture, but something is wrong in it. What is it? Look, the pool is frozen. No fun. In a small and quiet town, someone started to rob the bank every once in a while. 
The person was so fast that the police couldn't catch them. After another robbery, the police saw the criminal entering a grocery store. There were three customers inside, and they became the main suspects. Can you tell who the robber is? It's the girl in the middle. The first woman is wearing high heels, which means she wouldn't be able to run so fast. The third girl has a cast on her leg, so she's not a robber either. Detective Callum had to travel to a small town where young women disappeared every day. Four of them were already missing, Anna, Elle, Hannah, and Ada. After doing some research, the detective decided that the next target would be one of these four girls, Riley, Ellie, Ashley, and Eve. Can you figure out who it will be? It seems like all the missing girls have palindromic names. Those sound the same no matter whether you read them from left to right or from right to left. The only girl with a palindromic name is Eve, so she must be the next target. While Mr. Coleman, a rich gentleman, was on vacation, his office was robbed. The police started an investigation. They found fingerprints of three people and interrogated them. Noelle, Mr. Coleman's secretary, said that she'd been coming to the office to water the plants. Rob, the man's business partner, said that he'd come once to get some important documents. Brandon, the cleaning man, said that he'd been washing the floor every two days. Who robbed the office? It was Noelle. She said she'd been watering the plants, but look, there's not a single plant in Mr. Coleman's office. John was on an expedition to the South Pole. One day, he woke up in a frozen cave. He didn't remember what happened, but he knew he had to get out. He saw three doors and a poster. It said that behind the first door, there was a room filled with toxic gas. Behind the second one, there was a huge lake. And behind the third door, there was a room where sharp icicles fell from the ceiling every second. John couldn't swim. Which door should he choose to stay safe? He should pick the second door. He's at the South Pole. It's cold there, so the lake must be frozen, and the guy won't have to swim. Aurora decided to spend her summer vacation in the countryside. She loved taking long trips to the nearby forest on her own. Once, she came across an old mansion. It dated back to the 18th century, and no one had lived there since then. It was dusty inside. There was no light or electricity, but the place was beautiful. Suddenly, the door got locked behind Aurora's back. She saw three ways out. Behind the first door, there were many hungry rats. Behind the second door, there was a 500-foot deep hole. Behind the third door, there was an electro-laser that would immediately burn her. Which door is safe? The third one. There's no electricity, so the laser won't work. Dylan was abroad, enjoying the sun and his long-awaited vacation. One day, he met a beautiful girl at the beach. The guy spent the whole day with her. In the evening, he realized he didn't know her name. He asked if he could take her out the next day. The girl agreed, but only if he guessed her name. Dylan was devastated, but luckily, the girl <sighs> liked him too. She wrote something on a piece of paper to give him a hint. Here's what it said. Can you figure out the girl's name? Ignore the numbers and look at the letters. Together, they make up the name Laura. It must be the girl's name. Jelena wanted to go to the party her classmate was throwing, but her mom didn't let her go. Mrs. Miller felt bad for not allowing her daughter to have some fun. Then, she remembered that her parents had recently moved to a little farm and got some goats. She suggested that Jelena should visit her grandparents on the farm instead. The girl agreed, but instead of going to the farm, she went to the party. When Jelena returned home on Sunday evening, her mom asked her if she had liked the farm. The girl said yes. She didn't know how chickens were so cute. After this, Jelena got grounded. Why?
there were only goats on the grandparents' farm. Her mom figured out the girl hadn't gone there. Otherwise, she'd know it. It was snowing in the morning. Detective Callum didn't have much work during the day. But in the evening, the owner of the jewelry store reported that his business had been robbed. Detective Callum asked people who lived next door what they had been doing at that time. In three houses, people said they hadn't left home that day. But the detective figured out that one of them was lying. Who was it, and how did the detective understand it? It was someone from the second house. It was snowing in the morning. If no one had left home, there wouldn't be any snow under the cars. But there's snow underneath this car. A rich woman was traveling on a little but fancy cruise ship. She was robbed one night during a storm. Someone said that one of the passengers, Logan, had been very suspicious the whole time. He'd always been watching the woman. The detective interrogated Logan, but the man denied stealing anything. He said that during the storm, he'd been in his cabin writing a letter to his wife. He then showed the letter to the detective. Here it is, take a look at it. Why did the detective arrest Logan? Logan said he'd been writing the letter during the storm, but the ship was rocking on the waves. The handwriting is too neat for Logan to be saying the truth. The woods are hiding many secrets. You have five seconds to find a frog here. That was easy. Here it is! A lion is running free and wild somewhere here. Can you spot it? Yay! I knew it was there! Most people can't find an eagle in this image. Let's see if you're one of them. You shouldn't have looked for it in the sky. It's right here on the rocks. Ah, uh, things are getting complicated. There must be a crab here, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is, hiding in the sand. Chameleons are pros at adjusting to their surroundings, so this one will be tricky. Good job, you got it! Here's a new task for you. There are animals hiding behind all those symbols. Can you name them all? I can hear this lion roar. How about this one? Yep, it's a rabbit. Moving on to the next level. What a cute hippo! This one looks vaguely familiar. Ah, it's a gorilla! How about this one? I knew it! It's a squirrel! Time for the king of them all! Hope you can figure it out! It's a panda! The secret here is to zoom the image out or shake your head. Then things become more obvious. Ready to play detective again? A rich gentleman is looking for his lost horse. Can you help him out? Wow, I wonder how it got there. There's a rare kind of butterfly in the botanical garden. Will you be the first to find it? Yay! Now you can tell everyone you've seen a natural miracle. A little bird fell out of the nest. Please help find it as fast as you can.
Good job! You just saved the bird! A panda decided to pretend it's a penguin. It's doing fine, but let's see if you can do even better and find it. There it is! You must have a really sharp eye. Watch out! There's a snake hiding somewhere around. It feels better when you can keep an eye on it, doesn't it? A family of bears is looking for its son. It ran in this direction. Do you see it anywhere? I'd ask how it got there, but I don't speak bear. Let's see how many animals you can recognize by their shadows. Here's the first one. That's right, it's a hippo. What about this one? I think you knew it was a panda, didn't you? The next one is a bit tricky. It's a gorilla, I knew it. Hmm, I think I've seen this guy somewhere. You can't confuse their laughter for someone else's. It's a hyena. Here's one more shadow for you. Yep, it's the king of the jungle himself. Moving on! Your new task is to recognize an animal by a zoomed-in picture on it. This cute little ear definitely belongs to a... Fox! Got it! This eye is staring deep into your soul. Can you recognize its owner? It's a frog. I want to pet this nose, but I hope it's not some dangerous animal. Yay! It's a seal! This one looks fluffy. Can you guess what it is? It's a little sheep. That's an interesting pattern. I think I know the owner. It's a butterfly. Did you guess that? I'm getting hungry. I think I'll have one of those bananas. Ouch! They say there's a snake in the box. Do you see it? Thanks for finding it. Now I can enjoy my snack. A panda got into a raccoon camp to find out all of their secrets. Help the raccoons keep them. Yep, the panda is right there. Someone said there's a wolf that got too close to unknowing sheep. Only you can save them. Thank you on behalf of all the sheep in the world. Uh-oh, that wolf must have relocated to the monkeys. It doesn't belong here either. Got it. Hope it won't misbehave again. A super smart parrot escaped from its house to see the world. It might need some help, though. There it is. Some animals have unexpected little secrets. Looks like the lynx family has gone shopping and came back with an electric iron. Can you locate it and take it back to the store? Sorry guys, you don't have any clothes to iron anyway. The tiger decided it needs some pillows to make sleeping more comfortable. But you need them more, so claim them back.
Yay! Now you can sleep safe and sound again. The monkeys wanted to work out but never figured out how to use the weights. Bring them back to the gym. Here they are. This cat definitely doesn't need a spinner, but you could use it to relieve some tension. Find it in 5 seconds. Fantastic! I knew it would be in the grass. The next images aren't as plain as they might seem. Your task is to find all the hidden meanings. I can clearly see a camel here, and that's it. Let's see if you've got a sharper eye. When you look closely at it and change the angle, you can also find a wise man in this camel picture. How about this one? Is it just a bear to you? Looks like it's hiding the same secret as the previous page. It's the portrait of a man. What a cute penguin! I wonder if it has a second personality. Flip it upside down, and it turns into a giraffe. Same logic here, but this time, try not to flip it over and guess the second hidden animal anyway. This swan doubles as an elephant. Proves you can be anything you want to be. What about this lamb? Again, look closer, and I'm sure you can find some features of a different animal in it. It's a cute little seal right out of the water. What you see first in the images can tell a lot about your personality. Don't overthink it, just go with your first impression. If it's two seahorses to you, you're a fun and playful person who can always make others smile. You're an optimist and always see the good in every situation. It helps you overcome any difficulties easily. If it's a butterfly to you, you're an artistic soul. You prefer observing things to jumping into action. You get inspired listening to others and their stories and feel the best among nature. You need to express yourself through art to speak up. What do you see in this image? If you saw two monkeys first, you have a really agreeable personality. You try to avoid conflict by all means, and you'd rather agree with the other side than prove you're right no matter what. If you saw a goat in this image, you're a really stubborn person. When you feel you're the right one, no one can convince you otherwise. You like to give people advice and tell them they should have listened to you afterward. Try getting a bit softer for a change, and you might like it. How about this one? If it looks like an owl to you, the stage is your natural habitat. You probably sing, dance, act, or just tell funny stories everyone enjoys. When you're in a big group of people, you get bored and upset if you can't have everyone's attention. If you clearly see two pigs here, you prefer to stay out of the spotlight. You're creative too, but in your own quiet way. You don't like to share too much personal information with others. You always gladly help people who want to be in the spotlight, but do it backstage. What does this image look like to you? If it's clearly two elephants, you're loving and caring and always putting others first. When you feel like your close friend or family member is sad, you'll never calm down until you can make them feel better. You're a great listener and respect the secrets of others. If it's a snake to you, you're wise beyond your years. You don't let people close to you until you've known them for a while. You'll always listen and support them, but will rarely share something personal with anyone. You also give good advice. Here's another one for you. Those who saw a llama here first, you're always having second thoughts about taking some important action. 
You live through many possible scenarios in your head and regret many things in life. Hey, try taking it easier. Those who saw two squirrels first, you're moving through life fast and seize the moment. You never overthink anything, and you know failures make the best and funniest stories sometimes.